Saline or silicone implants, which one is better? In my opinion, I prefer using a silicone implant. I think it's a better implant. You have to remember that they both have the same outside shell. So both of the outside component of the implants are made out of silicone. It just depends on the filling. The saline implant is filled with saline water. The silicone implant is filled with a highly cohesive, means a very sticky uh, silicone gel. That's also known as the gummy bear implants. I think they feel better, they feel more natural to have a silicone implant than it does to have a saline. Saline is kind of feels more like a bag of water. So it's a little bit more kind of bouncy, whereas the silicone tend to feel softer. The second reason I prefer silicone implants over saline implants is that there's less rippling. Rippling is those little sort of curves that you can get after you have your implant in for a while and it's less with a silicone implant. The third thing, and this was talked to me by a doctor in Michigan, Dr. Hammond, is he believes, and I think so too, just what I've seen over time, is that I think the saline implant is a little bit harder on your tissue than the silicone implant because the saline kind of is a water wave that bounces. So every little movement that you do, just everyday stuff like walking, has like a little fluid wave. And I think that's stronger in the, the saline implant. And I think that's a little bit harder on your tissue. And I think that can lead to a little bit more bottoming out or drooping in some patients. Not everyone, but in some patients. So for me, for those three reasons, that's why I prefer using a silicone gel implant, also known as a gummy bear implant. And that's also used most frequently in the United States. About 85% of patients undergoing a breast augmentation choose a silicone gel implant. They're exactly the same in terms of safety. You will read on the internet that silicone implants are not as safe as saline implants. That is totally false. Saline implants and silicone implants are exactly the same in terms of safety. So if you're looking at implants that are both the same in terms of safety, and one of them feels a little bit better, has a little bit less wrinkling, and is a little bit better on your tissue, then I, I usually suggest a silicone implant.